Hello, this is Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we take a look at a reading from Holy Scripture found in the Daily Mass. And today is Thursday of the fourth week of Lent. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my own behalf, my testimony cannot be verified. But there is another who testifies on my behalf, and I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept testimony from a human being, but I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's. The works that the Father gave me to accomplish, these works that I perform, testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf. But But you you never never heard heard his his voice nor seen his form. And you do not have his word remaining in you because you do not believe in the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them. Even they testify on my behalf. But you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of my Father, but you do not accept me. Yet if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and do not seek the praise that comes from the only God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. The one who will accuse you is Moses, who in, in whom you have placed your hope. For if you had believed Moses, you had, would have believed me because he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writings, How will you believe my words? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, in our uh, Gospel reading today, uh, we're continuing. This is still uh, the words that Jesus is speaking to the Jews just after the healing of the man at the Pool of Bethesda. And they were irate that he did this on the Sabbath. And he first was talking about that, but then... Of course, one of the things that came into uh, consideration is that they did not accept Jesus as being valid in terms of his claim. And so they wanted to be sure that, that whatever he did would be stopped. They wanted to persecute him and silence him. And uh, it's at this point that Jesus talks about those who were his witnesses Now, in Jewish law, for someone's claim to be validated, to be verified, there have to be two, and even better, three witnesses, two or three witnesses that would confirm what uh, Jesus or anybody would say as being the truth. And so what he's doing here is basically inserting proof based on the Jewish teaching. Okay, the Jews looking are looking for two or three witnesses. Okay, here are the witnesses that believe that what I am saying and what I am doing comes from God. The first he brings up is John the Baptist. And he said, he testified on my behalf. Now, he said, I, I don't accept the testimony of a human being. In other words, I don't really need another human being to validate what I'm doing uh, on behalf of God, the Father. But nonetheless, I'm going to go ahead and share that that's one of the, one of the ways in which I have been uh, validated, I've been verified, that I uh, have this one witness of John the Baptist who said, Behold the Lamb of God. He's the Messiah. He's the one. But then he goes on after John the Baptist uh, to say, Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf. And here he's referring to the voice of God that spoke 
on the day of the baptism of Jesus, when Jesus was baptized in the Jordan by John the Baptist, and afterward there was the dove that came down, presence of the Holy Spirit, but then came the voice from heaven. This is my son in whom I am well pleased. So that is one way in which, again, God the Father was validating, was verifying that Jesus was his son and was, in fact, doing the work that he had called him to do. Then he says, okay, I've given you John the Baptist. I've given you my heavenly father. How about the scriptures? The scriptures te testify to me. If you look at the prophets, and in particular, if you look at the prophet Isaiah, he's pointed directly at me. And so you've got the testimony of scripture. And so here's three. Well, how about more than that? So now let's go to Moses. Let's go to the one that you believe holds the key to everything, that you are uh, offspring and disciples of Moses, and you are claiming to be in Moses' seat. So he says, um, Moses wrote about me. And so all of these Old Testament uh, scriptures, both in terms of the Mosaic law and in terms of the prophetic writings, they spoke of Jesus. John the Baptist spoke of Jesus. So we've got the scriptures. We've got uh, John the Baptist. We have the voice of God speaking from heaven, not on one, but on two occasions. All of those, again, emphasizing the fact that Jesus is exactly who he said he was. In fact, it's interesting on uh, the Mount of Transfiguration, when uh, God spoke there, he said, this is my beloved son, listen to him. So he made a specific point that Jesus had teaching authority on the earth. Well, this is a time again when he's trying to make these Jewish officials recognize the fact that he can, should be taken seriously, that he needs to be taken seriously. He's not just some voice crying in the wilderness that they'd not heard of before. It is the voice of John the Baptist in the wilderness that pointed to somebody else. He wasn't trying to lift himself up. And as he said about John the Baptist, that uh, uh, they first accepted him. And uh, they were content to rejoice in his light. But nonetheless, they refused John's testimony. They refused the testimony of Scripture. They refused the voice of God that was spoken over Jesus, and they refused the voice of Moses, the patriarch, their father. And so, again, through the Lenten lens, what are we saying today? I think we're saying, listen to Jesus. You can depend on what he says. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, today's scripture is really more about an, apply, an application of a truth that validates other scripture, that we today come to that point and should come to that point in our reflection where we say, you know, I am taking Jesus at his word that this is who he said he is. The testimony of John, the John the Baptist, the testimony of the, uh, the voice of the Father on two occasions. The, uh, the testimony of the scriptures and the testimony of Moses all point to the fact that Jesus is God the Son and we can trust him and trust his words. So I encourage you today to really, again, reaffirm to the Lord how you trust him to guide you and direct you in your life through his teachings and particularly through the grace that he offers us in the presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives. So may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.